on speed. One take one. Oh gosh, uh, mama. We are Chrisless today. We are Chrisless, and your girls can feel it. We are feeling the Chrisless. But you know, I haven't even had a meltdown yet. We're being really chill considering we're alone today. That is very positive because uh, setting this up sometimes. When it's just the two of us. It's just too much for my little my little heart. You it's know? a lot for one little heart. Like getting dressed, trying to do my hair, not have a, you know what I think my problem is? That these are white. <laughs> do you wanna do you want me to tell you? <laughs> uh, that these are white headphones so you can see the gaps in my hair. Right. Sorry, and it's worse than ever because I have a monitor here to make sure that I can continue to see that we're rolling. I can't even fully see the monitor, but I'm going to stay looking at it's it. It's great that you can't, otherwise... Oh, I'm still looking at no. it. You can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth, I'm okay. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm nervous. I just got fluttered with nerves. Okay, this is your episode, Mama. It's not my episode. This is your episode. I don't, that's, that makes me uncomfortable. What? I don't know. It's too much pressure ah! to put that on me. Wow, this is crazy. This well, is wild. This is wild. We'll just explain why we're Chrisless. Okay. Oh, right. So Chris uh, has a throat infection. Well, yeah, I saw on Instagram he was at the hospital, which is a place he frequents, which God bless the man. But then. <laughs> the way you just said that. What he is. I always every I feel like every time I open Instagram and I would say this to his face, I'm not like talking behind his back. Yeah. He's and he puts it out there for the world to see. So right. it's like very public. Oh yeah. But, Last week everybody noticed that Chris said that he can't have chocolate because he's like a dog and people were freaking out in the comments. Guys, he's talked about this. He has GERD. GERD means he can't have chocolate, I guess. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, and he, nobody's forcing anybody to eat anything. No. So he loves chocolate. I mean, I am forcing you to eat things. Well, but if I'm pretty. I'm a lot more polite to Chris. If he doesn't want it, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Lizzie's like, I don't want that. I'm like, yes, you do. Shut it down your gullet. <laughs> you're gonna eat it, and you're gonna like. Well, I don't care if you don't like it, actually. But right. Okay. Well, um. So, so Chris is sick. Yeah, and he was like, oh, I have a throat and an ear infection, and then I was like, he said it wasn't contagious, but then I started thinking, I feel like every throat infection would be contagious, especially because we're all tongue kissing and blowing each other of course yeah oh, yeah, yeah. so i'm not car, trying to catch that shit we're always eating and then he did offer to be double masked uh and be in the studio but then i was like well when it comes to eating uh, i don't know how that would work and then yeah. i'm obviously nervous because i have two newborns yeah that like don't have their immune system ready to go yet i think they get some like newborn immunization at yeah. the second month appointment and then uh lizzie had her own reasons as well while she was just like yeah. i don't want to risk getting sick right now yeah i mean my my immune system is definitely down because i am pregnant ah! <laughs> just like that well no, like that. That, that, i've been dropping bombs like that it's my favorite way to tell people <laughs> and i've only seen a couple of comments because you've been so nonchalant and you've been like, you were drinking the uh, ginger, what was it? The ginger, ginger ale. ale. Like, yeah. I'm so sick. I'm nauseous, but this is your story to tell. I'm going to shut up. No, it's okay. I like when you chime in. I'm so excited. I'm very excited. <sighs> I was going to do a whole thing on my own YouTube channel where like, we're going to do that later, but like another week, but like, I'm your girl's tired. She feels unwell. That's the other thing. Everyone's like, says new moms are like glowing. It's like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> like I've got a glow primer on and a fuck ton of like full coverage makeup, but like girl's not glowing. It's like my soul's been sucked out of my body, and I don't really know how to be in this show right now. Yeah, and I think you even took this week off from vlogging. And I just can't do it. That's fair enough, I especially was, when you're not yeah. keeping the secret, but it's not out yet. It's yeah. like, what else are you supposed to tell people? I'm sick. Yeah, like, hey, sorry, I'm lame, and you're just watching me make dog food this week. But like, that's all I can really muster at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take us back. Uh, I believe it was Christmas Day when, because you and Joe have obviously been trying. Oh, this is the story I'm saving for my own channel. <laughs> oh, oh, you're not going to tell that? Tune in next week. <laughs> Lizzie Gordon vlogs to find out how I found out. But we can talk about everything else. Uh, can we talk about how I found out? Or is we that can definitely it? talk about how you found okay, out. Okay, so I was having a really rough day that day. Um, <laughs> I was in the middle of a meeting and... Well, I'm going to actually take it back a little bit further. When during the summer, when I thought it was going to be really easy to get pregnant because all of my friends just get pregnant, like one of them's like, I'm going to be pregnant. And then they are. <laughs> and so I was like, same. So this summer, every time Joe and I had sex, I would call my friends and be like, I'm pregnant. 
And then they started saying, are you actually, or did you just have sex? And is this your way of telling us every time now? And I was like, I just had sex. Well, I think too, then even on the podcast, you got to a place where you'd be like, I'm pregnant. And then when you'd find out that time it didn't work, you'd be like, I got to stop doing this publicly. Turns out it's really hard to get pregnant sometimes. (laughs) Here's what doesn't help. Telling a woman trying to get pregnant to relax. Don't do it. Keep it to your fucking self. No one in the history of humanity has ever relaxed because someone suggested to. And I can imagine the further you get into trying, the harder it is to relax because there's also, not that you're old or you're aging out of being able to get pregnant, but when it's something that somebody wants and is trying for, there's not a way that you can logically relax. No, it's all like I was, I was, the best way to explain the way I felt personally about it was like, I feel like. I'm already fighting for my baby's life. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it sounds dramatic. Well, and if you've not, and if you haven't like struggled or l- like if it hasn't come easily to you, like it's devastating. Like it just feels bad. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, this is the one thing my body's supposed to do. And then of course, every it, of course, when you're trying to get pregnant or I'm assuming any of you are trying to get pregnant and it's not taking immediately, everyone around you is pregnant. And while you're so happy for your best friends, I can, I mean, th- I'm putting myself in your position. Yeah. I can imagine it's also like, well, fuck, why not me? I do feel really good about the fact that like I have a really strong program that I work because I could see myself getting very jealous. But I honestly, I never felt shitty about other people's right. success do you know what i'm saying yeah like i was always genuinely very excited you also love all your friends kids yeah you're I, you're big you love that they're cutie patooties <laughs> they kill me they're little silly geese but anyways i was i only brought this up to say that i originally was gonna there i had two plans to, well i had two people that were gonna get a cute reveal of the pregnancy my husband joe and Ryland. Thank you. And so the first time we had sex when we started trying, I went out and I bought three onesies <laughs> and a bunch of iron-on transparency sheets. And I w- was going to make little shirts that said the three best friends that anyone ever had. And on the backs, it was going to say Adam's Yaw, Adam's Yaw, and then Home Okay. And then I, when I wasn't when I wasn't getting pregnant, and then when you brought the babies home, like I that is when I lost my patience, and I just told him I was like, <laughs> "Well, I was gonna do this thing, but because we talked to a specialist, and they said that it was gonna be ninety days before we could even do anything to try to get pregnant with them, because mm-hmm. our odds were very low." And so I was like, "Well, fuck it, Ryland's babies will be a year old by then, so these onesies are trash now." And so I just told him the idea, and then literally like three days after that point, I got pregnant. Which is so insane. And are you going to share here or on your channel? Because uh, you did go to a fertility doctor. You yeah. talked about that on the podcast. And I do think those steps you took did help to get Absolutely. pregnant. Absolutely. Um, with I guess everybody, that would be different for everyone because it's unique to like the man and the woman mm-hmm. getting checked out. But that did help you, correct? Oh, it absolutely helped me because it changed the way that we were approaching trying. Because there's a million and one ways to try to have a baby. But the like the, it really just takes one sperm and one egg. It just takes one. And but getting them together is the hard part. You know what I mean? It's like a <laughs> the fucking meat cute. That was, yeah, it's the meat cute of a rom com, but it's like fucking impossible. It's like, oh, for God's sakes. Like, um, so timing is everything. But also depending on what variables you're working with, you can change your approach to be more successful for your situation. Right. And we wouldn't have tried something different if we hadn't had that answer from because we did a bunch of testing and mm-hmm. we like we started trying we started taking medicine but the medicine didn't even really kick in because we're still technically within the 90 day period that they wanted us to wait right. to get to a certain place so that they would do these procedures um but then so th- now you can say how i actually told you so i'm upstairs <laughs> in a meeting the meeting was on shane's phone so then lizzie starts texting me and she <laughs> sent a picture but the picture didn't come through so then it came through as a message was what did it do you remember what it said yeah because i so we i was out buying a card to tell joe's mom that we're pregnant and i got a card that said this is a pretty big deal <laughs> 
<laughs> and so I, I took a picture of the card and sent it to Rylan. And then I said, I got this picture to tell Joe's, I got this card to tell Joe's mom we're pregnant, but it made me think of you. And the picture didn't send because my fucking phone's broken because of all the, my memories fall. And then the next thing I said, I was like, oh, God damn it. The picture didn't send. <laughs> and I'm like freaking out. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. And I'm in this serious meeting and I just run out of the room and start screaming. My mom's downstairs. And I, I didn't even ask if I could tell anybody, but I was just screaming, Lizzie's pregnant. And then I FaceTime you and I'm outside just screaming at you while you're at the store getting more pregnancy tests because then obviously you wanted to take more and more and more just to triple confirm. I had already taken like five at home, but I wanted to get that clear blue test that just says the word pregnant Pregnant. because that's a really fun one, guys. Yes, because the first one, (laughs) she sent some of the two lined ones around and some of the responses were you have COVID. Yeah. No, guys. This test looks This different. is a baby. This so is she a had baby. to go get the pregnant. Yeah, just to make it clear. <laughs> and I like having it. Are we going to talk about who you saw in there? Or uh, what significance that has to us? Or that's jumping the cotton. I mean, I don't care. Unless you're trying to draw out the content. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out who I saw there. <laughs> um, well, no, it just has some significance if your baby is a girl. Right. Well, so Joe won't speak. We find I take a blood test on the 19th to find out the gender. Mm-hmm. And um, Joe won't play name games with me until we know the gender. But I will. And I have yeah. a we Well, we've come up. We've concluded on a boy's name yeah. and a girl's name. A couple of girls names or a few girls names. I'm locked in on one. Oh, you're locked in on one. Uh huh. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm trying to get out of eating shit. Okay, so she's already had her ultrasound. With, Heartbeat looks good. Yeah, the ultrasound was gnarly. <laughs> I gotta say, guys, and I knew it was gonna be gnarly. Like, I knew, because all my friends have babies, and all of them were like, just so you know, when you go in for the first time, they won't let you just start filming in case it's bad. And it's like, what? Stop it. Everybody's favorite thing, too, by the way, when you're freshly pregnant, is to be like, this probably isn't gonna go well. I know, you know, the amount of, not the pregnancy part. I understand that part. A, our, uh, the first doctor we were at also said that when it was twins, I was just, I don't need that energy. They're right there. Their heartbeats are good. Let's just think about the best. Yeah. And everyone being like, oh, I'm worried about you talking about it. Talking about my baby is not going to make, is not going to compromise my baby's health. No. These words are not compromising my baby's health. You know what's compromising my baby's health? When you stress stress me the fuck out and make me think my. (laughs) So so, just shut up. So I I have this mantra where I just think like, um, my body is good and strong. My baby is good and strong. God didn't make any mistakes and we're going to be okay. Exactly. Because honestly, everything does tend to work out. Like even when I was like down and out, everything was fine, you know? Like, yeah. So. That's just, and that really helps, but I have to do that because I will fucking doom spiral forever. But that little mantra really helps. Well, and there's a lot to doom spiral about, but at at the end of the day, there's a plan. This has already mapped itself out and what's going to be is going to be. So the more that you stress yourself out to not, and you know, we don't need the added pressure of everyone else's opinions. If you're, even when I'm trying not to make the this about me but no, i'm making it about it. I me it. I when i was it about excited me. about buying all the baby products everyone just had to be a downer and say you're not gonna use that those suck and i'm just let me have my fun yeah. i'm doing this because it excites me yeah. so let me do this and by it's... the way now joe wants us to get light colored strollers <laughs> not for the aesthetic he's worried they're gonna cook in the stroller out in the sun <laughs> so i'm gonna eat all that shit that i fucking served you up about your white strollers i'm waiting for joe to start his like holistic health blog i keep joking he's going to the paltrow because oh, every is. day it's something new that lizzie restricts upon our lives <laughs> because it's no longer healthy to humanity no. because her husband has let her know about it yeah and i'm just thinking is he in with gwyneth paltrow and i don't know about it i mean i think generally speaking since for like the past 50 years the quality of products that we put in and around our bodies has degraded and it's because consumerism trumps humanity now and i think that's fucked up and sure it took getting pregnant to give a fuck but no matter what i think it's important that we all be a little bit more conscious about the mega fucking maniacs that we're giving millions and millions of dollars to who are literally fucking poisoning us and trying to kill us like the fact that they've all convinced us that oh then you're not having any fun why do we have to risk a multitude of diseases to have fun and a skittle is just as good if it's not fucking red or yellow but this stuff also messes with your head when shane got off diet coke his uh intense depression 
really lifted a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I don't think it was a fluke. No. I think when you're downing all of that fake chemical stuff every Aspartame day. Aspartame is bad for you. Right. And it's delicious. So you might miss out on some fun consuming it but yeah. you might be a little more mentally present yeah. not consuming it yeah i think you know like let's take it back to a simpler time like why can't we have fun without spending money and hurting our bodies so what are your symptoms how are you feeling i are feel you... bad <laughs> i don't feel good are you you don't really drink that much caffeine uh no i mean i used to have like one or two matcha lattes a day i just have one which is like 200 milligrams right. of caffeine. And you don't get caffeine headaches or withdrawals? No, because I quit coffee a while ago because it was making me faint. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm just sick and tired, you know? And I because I haven't been going to Orange Theory because I'm sick and tired, I'm not sleeping well, so it makes it worse. So I need to just find the fucking tenacity to get the fuck up and go move my body. Like when I hike, I sleep better at night, but it's like, it's really hard to do anything. <laughs> it's hard, man. I can't imagine feeling nauseous. I mean, I, I'm like trying to imagine being nauseous all the time and it sounds awful. I mean, I literally, I've got this fucking pathetic jug of shit here, which is just ginger root and fucking lemon water and it helps <laughs> and when i chug it it feels better unless you get a little bit of ginger root caught in your throat and then you're gonna throw up from that so you know <laughs> you can't win every war Ooh. but you can try and you're not really having cravings yet because you're more so having aversions yeah i used to love like i don't even want to talk about it because now it's because it's sick. disgusting yeah eggs no i had eggs this morning <gasps> but i have to cook them a certain way <laughs> but i threw out like literally what i'm gonna tell you like my throat is like closing up it's like i don't like <laughs> spinach I threw out all the avocado avocado threw it away what? you don't have to scream it at me <laughs> <laughs> i tried to give it to you she'll be asking joe i want this joe and then joe will bring it she goes, i don't want that joe <laughs> poor joe i was like i need a lasagna the motherfucker goes and makes me a lasagna and he brings me goes, I can't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joe's a whole day. He runs out and gets something and brings it home to me and goes, uh, no more. Uh, no. <sighs> He's doing really good though. He's very sweet. And so you that's why you, why you were binging all of This Is Us. And that's why you can yeah. now seek your revenge when I was screaming at you to get over. It's because of, I was violently ill. Because she was pregnant and I was still mentally distraught thinking I need her. Honestly, I think we're both validated. I think so too. I think both of us are victims of the universe. The problem is though, well, it's not a problem. We'll yell things or our needs at each other without super expectations. But then sometimes I find it fun to make big drama on the podcast. Yeah, I do too. Not that I don't make it big drama in real yeah. life. It's just inconsequential to the status of our actual relationship. I concur. Like it's not shifting the needle in I actually am mad at you or not. It's no. just I need some excitement. So I'm going to fight with Lizzie today. I did feel like a deadbeat aunt. I will say that. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt because it was real. But can I tell you about this fucking oh, ultrasound? Yes, Hold on, someone keeps texting me. Hello, you guys. Today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek, who you know we love so much. And Elizabeth, she cannot shut up about how excited she is to go to Olivia Rodrigo. She's already planning her outfit and the concert is months away, but she did indeed secure her tickets on SeatGeek. And if you're unfamiliar with SeatGeek, it is the number one rated ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. And that's because there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. Currently, there's artists like Drake, Bad Bunny, Nicki Minaj, and like I mentioned, Olivia Rodrigo on tour, so you are not gonna wanna miss out. The best thing about SeatGeek is they put all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a great deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. You guys already know that SeatGeek came through for all of you. You can use our code SIP for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code SIP. And make sure you click the link in our description section to download their fantastic app. So we went last week and had the, the first ultrasound. Okay. And so that's vaginal. I remember from yours when, when our surrogate. Yeah. yeah. So I was prepped for it to be vaginal. And... Ugh. There's so much lube that goes into this situation. Like, there's so much lube. And, you know, like, for every woman that's had a pap smear, y'all know at the end of it, they, like, at least throw you a gym sock and say, wipe your ruby ass down before you get fucking in your pants and shit. 
<laughs> so the woman's like up in my snatch with this fucking chair leg wand. Oof searching around my also that scares me i know they're professionals and they know what they're doing but yeah. s- don't get too close to you're gonna baby. whack my baby with yeah. that wand bitch <laughs> no i'd be i think it's like in it looks like it's in a sack like it looks safe in its little sack and it's uterine where it's placed on the uterine wall yeah sure <laughs> my placenta is still forming from what i understand and technically my baby's still not a fetus it's called an embryo right now which i think is rude but whatever right i think it's a baby and so she's poking around looking to make sure there's just the one in there, which I was also grateful that there's just the one. And she's not looking when she pulls out the wand and just <laughs> whacks me in the leg with it on the dismount. And then there, yeah. And then there's just lube and pussy guts everywhere. Ew. I know. I'm sorry. I'm it was sorry. Awful. She was sorry about that. And I was like, it's okay. Dripping <laughs> from all over my body and then they just sort of like lightly close your legs but like you're still trying to hold your body up on this like dumb fucking incline of a thing and then you're just like yeah all right let's talk about it now like i'm comfortable i'm all wet my pussy's out like (laughs) and like she leaves and i realize that bitch didn't give me a wipe i have nothing to wipe down now and i'm dripping in lube and I look around there's not even like paper towels there's not even a paper towel dispenser which doesn't make sense like this is a medical exam room like y'all need paper towel dispensers in this bitch and so I just was like I guess I'll just put up my pants <laughs> so I just put my panties on and my leggings on over my loopy ass body and I'm like damp and Joe and I like to take disposable camera pictures <laughs> so when we were alone in there he's like put the little gown back on and pretend you're in the middle of the appointment <laughs> because on the little screen was still the picture of our tiny bean and i was like okay and i'm not thinking straight like i put the little gown over my shirt and i like lean on it and then i remember like this whole fucking table is covered in lube so then i get lube all over the rest of my body that wasn't already covered in it and then i got up and i was like baby i'm real sticky and gross when you get the fuck out of here like that was gnarly i've never not been offered that a fucking couldn't wipe. have been me i would have been I would have been like, Joe, get out there and get me a towel. <laughs> but we know. know I'm a Karen, so. I, sh- I wasn't thinking straight. I was just in the panic moment. You were swimming in lube. I was swimming in lube, and I was like, someone's going to come back in here, like, any <laughs> second. And I'm going to still be just sitting here, like, and they come in, and I just know, knowing my luck, like, lube's going to drop out of my body in front of them. And it's, like, not, I know they've been in my, inside me, but I don't want them to see that. It was, that was, a, that was traumatic. And did she give you? I well, no. Of course, she didn't give you a prediction. But we she can just say said our this predictions. Looks she said this is that's perfect. No, I'm talking about gender predictions on our. Oh end. no! I even asked because I we were talking about this article that says depending upon what side the placenta's on, you can be you can try and guess the gender based on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but she couldn't tell what side the placenta was latched to because it's still forming. Oh. I guess I don't know I really honestly to be honest I don't understand any of this they're like we start measuring the age of the baby from the start of the menstrual cycle and it's like but there's no baby at the start of the menstrual menstrual cycle so what I don't yeah it's hard for me to understand too like what and I'm like well I know the day I conceived because I was trying she's like that's not when we count from and I'm like that's a confusing thing that you just said my gut reaction was girl yeah (laughs) <laughs> and then I switched to boy and yeah. now I'm back to thinking it's a girl. Well, everyone says do the Chinese calendar prediction. Okay. And so I did it and it said girl. And then I did it again and it said boy. And what did they say? What gender sucks the beauty out of you? Girl. You're I, still looking right. I mean, I have a lot of makeup on. You saw me the other day and you said, you look pregnant today. <laughs> And I do have all this acne, so I'm hoping it's a girl. <laughs> and that's, well, okay. All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was going to say, that's what you're hoping for, but you'll be happy no matter what. Oh, I, so I started tripping because, I don't know, is this getting boring? No. I started tripping because I feel like girls and moms have a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. And that made me really sad. And I was straight crying at home. I was like, she's going to hate me. And it was really sad. And then I was watching This Is Us. Remember, I brought up the spoiler alert for This Is Us. I'm about to say what I spoiled a couple weeks ago. So if you didn't get spoiled for you, then it's about to get spoiled now. So just like skip forward 15 seconds. But when William dies and goes to heaven and is in his mommy's arms, I was like, I want a boy. I want to be a boy mom. And he's going to love me forever. That's what I want. (laughs) <laughs> but i also like want a little witch you know what i mean like i want both so desperately that i'll take whatever i can get right but you know both are terrifying and right now it's their little homo 
They're my little homo. Because. And it's like, my little homo, my little homo. Her, her husband's last name is Homo K. So yeah. it's their little homo yeah. manifesting he's gay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We love you even if you're straight, you little homo. But Lizzie wouldn't mind if you're gay. I would not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to get us canceled. Wait, what? I don't know. I feel like Fox News is going to pick that up and be like, influencers manifesting homosexuality. <laughs> like, <laughs> as if that's a problem, Candace. Okay, so do you... <laughs> Um, okay, should I go into my week or do you want to go into your stories? I feel like I have a lot of stories, so you go into your week. Okay, well, it wasn't big outside of babies for me. Love that for uh, you. We had both of our doctor appointments. I wasn't saying what they were before just because I'm superstitious and I just like to make sure everything works out before I speak on it a lot of the time. But Max in the hospital failed one of his hearing tests on one side. The pediatrician at the hospital said, oh, I don't actually have... Uh, worry about this because I can see the vernix, which is the white stuff that's sometimes all over Everybody the body. Everybody knows what a vernix is. Rub into the body. Um, I didn't know what vernix was. was dried. I, I still am not sure. The white shit on the body you just told me? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what... I don't know. I don't, I, I don't need to know. So she looked in the ear and saw there was a bunch of it in his ear, which was probably uh, preventing great hearing coming through. So we took him to his hearing test. They weighed him. That man is over 10 pounds now. Damn, he is, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. I love him. And he, he, he's getting big, too. I'm like, dang, I, he's a two-hander now. I tried to pick him because I wanted to pick them both up at the same time. <laughs> and I can't. Well, I was in the kitchen and Lizzie goes, don't worry. I got this. She was already holding Jet. And she goes, I'll go get it. I'll, I'll take care of both of them. And I said, okay, great. And I'm watching you know, the baby monitor. Like, Just try. Oh, you can see with how <laughs> the struggle was. <laughs> Did it stress you out? I was thinking to myself, I hope he's not watching the baby I'm not monitor. that much of a stressed out mom, honestly. No, you're very chill. Did it stress you out? No. Okay, good. Because no. it was pathetic. You <laughs> saw it, right? I kept putting Jet back down. Or then I would try, like, I'd throw Jet over my shoulder a little bit. So I'm holding his whole head. Because it's hard because their heads are floppy doos. Mm -hmm. So I'm holding the floppy do head. And then we're both going forward and trying to sneak an arm under that fat fuck Jet for Max. <laughs> and lift his little chunky body up. But I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, and I don't. Jet, I haven't had reweighed because their two month appointment is actually next week. But then Jet did have because he was breech. I guess if you're breech for a longer time frame, uh, they like to check the hips after six weeks out. I'm gonna give a little bit of clarifying adjectives. Okay. He was breech inside the womb, which means that he was leg first towards the opening. The pussy opening. Is the, I thought it was head first. No, breech. babies are supposed to be head first. Oh, so when you're breech, it means your legs. Opposite. Yeah. So I guess, and especially and with that twins, can put pressure on their hips. There's excessive pressure on the hips, but because they were born at 36 weeks, it's not like he spent a whole extra like the four weeks, the most way. pressure f month in with whatever. So we just got his hips checked, and all was fine there as well. So good news <clears throat> with the babies. <clears throat> but then we've been having this formula saga, which right. is probably boring for everyone. No, I'll we started it, it last real. week. Oh, did I talk about yeah. this last week? We were going to start trying goat How milk. How crazy is that? Because Max wasn't doing good with it. All the days just blend together. That's motherhood. <laughs> and then they're grown and they I saw somebody say, you. one comment just said, I knew they wouldn't do good with twins. <laughs> it's like, no, we're doing pretty good with twins. Yeah, I don't know that it, there's been every, any evidence that they're not doing very well. It's, uh, I don't think you'll meet any twin parents that are just thinking, wow, this is simple. Oh, how great. Ooh, ooh, oh, ah. two, two to love, more to love. <laughs> and I think that's why I'm not a stressed out parent. If somebody's over helping, I just take one, help. Take Whatever. it, take it home with you. Go for Bring it. Back when you're done. Um, no, but they're such cute boys. Uh, Max did really, really good on the goat formula. Jet denied it. Started having black poops, fussy monkey. So now we're going back. To he didn't have a problem with, with the cow the, milk, yeah. but we thought if we're gonna switch one, we should try to switch two because if they both gel with it, then we don't have to deal with separate formulas. Yeah. Turns out we're gonna be separate formula family. God, me and my dogs. Really. Well, it's different weights, so there's different nutrients in each batch. There's I have to make. Are one you kidding me? Oh yeah, I have to make one specifically for Icky that's weighed differently than the one that I weigh out for Bobo. So now I think I'm gonna splurge and get another baby Brezza and just have Honestly, one Brezza should. goat milk, one Brezza cow milk. 
Yeah. And I'm so impressed by that machine. This I don't know. I don't if you're not <laughs> breastfeeding your baby and if you can get it, see if your insurance covers it. I'm also learning insurance covers a lot of shit. Like insurance gonna insurance will cover my breast pump. I didn't know that. Yeah. And a lot of the baby products Shane and I got, we used our credit card points. Oh, nice. Because you can buy things on Amazon with your credit card points uh -huh. and just racking when you spend money, when you pay your bills, you get credit card points. And a lot of our baby items we did just purchase with our points. And a lot of the things I'm getting for my baby, I'm getting with your points too. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna take everything out of your well, house. A lot of it will be I'm just seeing if we're gonna roll out. Oh. One second. Are we? Yeah, this isn't Chris's camera, so we're gonna oh. roll out. Can I give a slight plug for Shane's Valentine's merch? Is yeah. this technically Valentine's merch or just good merch? One take two. No, that one's just good merch. The Valentine's Day is red and pink, and then the heart one already sold out, but I think it's still available for pre-order. Gosh, get it while you can. <clears throat> um, but I was saying a lot of like the newborn products that we got will be phased out from my babies by the time you need them mm -hmm. so then you'll just hand them back if i end up having another kid yeah here's a pro tip be the last one in your friend group to have kids <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna have lots and lots of things well not only that but just the wisdom you glean from all your buddies like now that i know this stuff mm -hmm. about the breech thing and like the ear varnish and like all that stuff even though it's not called varnish <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know because everything's a little bit less foreign yeah i did uh, I posted a QA and a for a vlog that's going to go up in the future. Just questions for dads, Shane and I, like our experience as dads. And one of the things I didn't get to, because then we got derailed and went and got the Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> so it was a QA and a vlog that turned into something else. But a question, a lot of people were just saying, did everything come natural or did you... Or how did you learn everything that you needed to know to take care of these kids? I did so much research, but also, no, a lot of it didn't come natural. It took me a while and other the nurse that helps at our house to really learn, A, your baby individually, but B, what the different sounds and different cues of the day means that they want, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, because, I don't know, with different, even just like, the Mylocon if they're really gassy or the gripe water or I don't, there's just things. What the fuck is Mylocon? Mylocon is. You said that like that was a, you know, like the Mylocon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gas reliever. Oh, so it's like a substance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but, and then the sleep, there's a lot, I'm sure you could raw dog it and figure it out and you're going to learn your baby's cues, but I think the more information, the better and you apply it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you change your approach. Yeah. Um, it's nice to know your options, though. It's like getting a menu. Yeah. Like, this is what I want to use. Yeah. Or I'm going to try this and see if it works, like goat milk. And Jet said, no, thank you. Not at all. He said, that is not for no, me. No, no, we thought, well, it's because it's the exact same formula. Mm -hmm. Just the, the only the change base. in it is goat milk versus cow milk, which I know is a big one. So we thought, well, it couldn't get worse. For Jet, it got a lot worse. Poor guy. And transitioning formulas is a uh, process in and of itself. Yeah. You they, have, do you have to like wean them into it? It's kind of like the changing a dog yeah. food, you know? Because you don't want to just there's, shock their system. There's 72 hours, they say, of a transition period where there's a lot more spit up, a lot more discomfort, a lot more fuzziness. So that was this weekend for us, trans just transitioning him back. So hopefully today he's going to just be a happy, And Max healthy, is doing good. Max is living on oh, the goat god milk. bless him god bless that little boy such a cutie butt and then the apple vision pro listen yeah what did i see you doing all weekend why are you pinching at the air when you're wearing those goggles because and this what is, are they first tell me what they are so they're vr goggles by apple and it's the first version of what i'm assuming is going to be our future i hate that right now it's not as realistic a because the price point is out of this world what is it so much like well, 3500 and then after tax it was for in california it was 4200 bro do you know how much my prius cost <laughs> four thousand well that's why nobody's gonna get them you right. know what i mean yeah and so it's it's you put these on and you're living in an immersive world and what's crazy about it and what frustrated me and why i was screaming all weekend trying to figure it out is because you control it by your eyes so where you look is your mouse cursor your I, eyeballs are your mouse cursor i hate this and it just if i look somewhere and it doesn't attach to that when i click and you click by going like this that's why you're pinching mm-hmm so your your pinch your fingers could be anywhere but where you're looking is your mouse cursor 
And then if for some reason... How does it know your fingers are pinching? I don't know. I hate all of this. Like, low-key, I'm not trying to get put on a watch list, but if the Weather Underground is still out there and they want to save us, <laughs> like, I think it's time to take out Apple. So, I think it's time to take out Apple Weather Underground. Help it's us. It's really cool technology, and there's a lot of cool things inside of there. For me, I liked the meditation aspect or their sceneries the most because you can put yourself in Joshua Tree or on a mountaintop, and you're fully immersed when you're watching TV. You can make it as big as you want. You can put yourself in a movie theater that actually looks like a movie theater. I hate this. The thing is, you never aren't aware that you have a five-pound thing on your head that's pressuring on your sinuses. Yeah. So I think... A couple versions from now when it's a lot more sleek, maybe just sunglasses mm -hmm. that are, I don't know. The technology is really cool. It does, th uh, it's hard for my brain to process it's my eyes being world. my cursor. Of course. It, it's the matrix. Yes. It, stop it, Apple. You're going to be able to stop it. And you're going to be able to live in whatever sort of reality you want wherever about, you're existing on earth how about just reality guys i don't think that's gonna cut it for today's world i think it has to start cutting it i think the kardashians need to chill the fuck out what are they doing too much <laughs> honest to god in regards to what though? all things okay i've had enough of them uh, really what yeah what I you've just always got, been I, their biggest I fan know. what's going on i got disgusted by them what yeah i'm upset <laughs> uh i'm upset i think they need to chill their bill <laughs> why what did they do to i you? mean not every family needs multiple private jets and they don't need to be using fucking food as decoration and they don't need to be fucking living as large as they do yeah god it, bless like honestly so fucking sick like i love the powerhouse element of it all i love that these women will stop at nothing but i also hate that the way that they're getting there is via the consumerism that is just like so fucking useless and soulless and disgusting well and the problem is that's what makes them rich i know because that and I love people. the hustle, but these people are psychopaths because they're fucking everything up with their... And it's like, to be completely honest, I'm upset with Taylor Swift. What? I know. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to give her a special treatment. But I'm upset about all of it. I think these bitches Wait, need to chill. Wait, what is she doing? It's the jet setting for me. Really? Yeah. Well, how else would you expect her to get to where she's I going? I think that I under, I, she needs to do her job. But the thing is, but if with, she goes to the fucking Super Bowl with Taylor, number one, she needs a nap more before the emissions being an issue for me. That bitch needs a nap. Oh, you mean the unnecessary trips? Yeah. Because I'm thinking, well, if she has a tour stop, Taylor could but can't just go to LAX. No, no. you know it no. would cost so much money in security. Yeah. Then it. I'm not talking about wise, her requirement for work because she has a tour in japan yeah the night before the super bowl yeah so she's gonna perform a four-hour show and everybody's speculating that she's gonna jump in her jet and make it back for the fucking super bowl but it's like i would rather not do that and you want to know my problem with travis kelsey he can't show up for her at the grammys but he touts she touts around like his little groupie at every single sporting event yeah i don't care that he has the super bowl next weekend she has the eras tour the night before the super bowl and she's and, probably still gonna make it and guess on her what jet. More people fucking care about the Eras Tour than they do the Super Bowl. Suck my dick if you think that's a lie. It's not. The numbers speak fucking for themselves. Well, bro. she's filling up the stadiums for one. Do you think anyone in Japan gives a fuck about the Super Bowl? Well, not. A, well, I don't know. I no. have no idea. The point is, but no. what I'm saying is it takes a whole corporation of two teams coming yeah. together to create excitement for the nfl the nfl yeah taylor swift says i'm gonna come to your city and the world caters the city caters to yeah. her she is one woman the nfl is how many dudes can't even name three <laughs> can't even name three of them and there's hundreds i so last night when we're filming this was the grammys and it sh th is she not tired i'm tired i'm tired that's what i'm saying I bitch love, take a nap i love taylor swift and i'm tired i'm tired you know she i just break. she's releasing another album which... i couldn't even make a shitty vlog this week <laughs> like she has a whole album coming out on the 19th of april i just don't know how she's doing this i'm glad she is though did you see Two big standout moments from, from the Grammys for me was when Olivia Rodrigo was performing, Taylor Swift trying to play and make nice, uh, to show the world nice by so the, singing. For our audience, if you guys have forgotten, there's been alleged 
abuse between Taylor Swift and Olivia Rodrigo and people think that Taylor bullied Olivia and Olivia's and that, song Vampire that all of guts basically was a was about how Taylor broke her heart so Olivia is performing the alleged song about Taylor Swift at the Grammys Taylor Swift's in the audience standing up singing the song but mouthing the wrong lyrics so she doesn't even was know she the mouthing song the wrong lyrics? or was that on purpose so like I'm playing nice but I'm gonna say the wrong I don't words. know that she was saying the wrong words oh to me I was giving my children a bath so it mm -hmm. was up on the baby Brezza while I had the bath down here. So I was trying to do everything at once. Yeah. Um, but then when she went up and announced her album, the cutaways to all the other artists in the room, they're just like, oh, really? They were being. <laughs> they oh, weren't I mean being. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I know. Uh, like 40 minutes. We got demonetized for using that word. So sorry. Lucy can't use it anymore. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, they weren't it was just no vis it felt visible these people were just like the exhausted like oh i guess none of us can release shit in april now they just all it was my they hate her because they ain't her oh miley's high and then and then even ed no it, it's fine it's not yeah. i don't think it's real drama it's the internet making drama right but it's the way i feel too you know i'm gonna consume this album i'm gonna go hard for this album i'm gonna love this album. i'm gonna have but a baby the and then time, the next week go to miami for this album and that's what the first thing I texted Lizzie yeah. was, guess we have to go to Miami now because yeah. you know the Aeros tour is going to get a half hour longer. Yeah. And if it go. doesn't, there's going to be a real problem. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I told Joe this morning, I was all excited. I was like, can you believe there's a whole new tour I get to be excited about? <laughs> There's no way you're going to go a month after giving birth. No, there's not a chance in fucking hell. I'll be there. Who's coming with no, me? No, fuck off. I'm going. I can't not just go. We're bringing my baby. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> but we're doing it. We're going to do it. <laughs> um, Why didn't she perform? And does she have beef with the Grammys? Or she? do you think I she... I mean, why would she perform? She's performing every fucking week. And when she's not, she's at the NFL. Yeah, she needs a break. She shouldn't have performed. She needs a I'm break. I'm glad she didn't perform. Yeah. <laughs> Good for her. Are we literally going to leave off the fact that I was accused of stealing twice at Costco? No, I would love to hear this. I was accused of stealing two fucking times in the same visit at Costco. And it was a fucking nightmare. And it was at the Costco by your house, <gasps> which I will never go back to. Because they're profiling? No, I don't even know they're profiling, but it's they're a fucking mess, bro. So I go, I'm checking out. I, I This is, oh, I forgot your muffins. <gasps> Damn it. I was looking forward to those two oh. were they buy one get one free or did you just go crazy because no, it, it's costco it's like i was like oh i only need six muffins he was like well i'm charging you for two and i was like you're really not like it's costco <laughs> like this is still cheap for six muffins my guy he's like well why don't you just get the other box of muffins and freeze it and i was like i'm not gonna do that but i guess i'll go get the other box of muffins and as they're checking me out they pick up my zucchini that i feed the dogs and they go did you know that there were two extra zucchinis in this bag and I was like, no, I didn't. You can take the fucking two extra zucchinis out of the bag. She goes, well, you know, usually there's only just six in it. And I was like, I honestly, bitch, don't know how many fucking zucchinis are actually in it. Usually. But go ahead and remove the two extra fucking zucchinis and ring me the fuck up so that I can go about my life. She goes, I'm just going to have to show this to the manager. And I was like, okay, bitch, show the fucking manager. Go get me another bag of zucchinis then. Like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm not stealing two she, zucchinis. She cares that if I was an employee of Costco, I wouldn't care enough about the two extra zucchinis to call the manager, let alone make the person that has the two extra zucchinis feel like they stole from me. And also, dude, like, I have not met a person who works in sales that gives this much of a fuck about anything no. for the past 10 years. <laughs> And the fact that she knows to a T how many zucchinis are supposed to be in this bag by sight. I was like, whatever, dude, I don't care. Like, I have to go get I, I literally just tried to say, I don't need your extra pack of muffins. Why would I not take an extra pack of muffins that I'm paying for and steal two zucchinis? So then that's all going down. And it takes her so fucking long that I literally have enough time to go get the second thing of muffins, go to the bathroom, wash my hands and come back. And she's still not back with the other bag of zucchini. Then I'm like waiting for her. She comes and I'm like, okay. And then I leave. And on my way out, the guy stops me. He goes, this doesn't make sense. You have six items on your receipt, but you have seven items in your cart. And I was like, is it because there's two muffins? Like, are you counting the two muffins as two or one? Because I've had enough of these muffins. <laughs> and I can't keep doing this with you guys. He goes, no, it's not the muffins. I'm counting the muffins as one. I was like, all right, so why don't you go down the list of shit 
I've and actually never had somebody stop me at Costco. Bro, the, how how are they even looking? And they go whoosh, with the yeah. highlighter. So now I have 50 items in a box, some, in a bag sometime, and it's all covered by boxes. And they're still like, looks good. Stops me. Ma'am, you have seven items in here and six on your receipt. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to get away with? And I was like, well, I don't know what the fuck it is. Why don't you look at the receipt and then look at the shit in the fucking cart and then tell me what is not on the receipt that is in the fucking cart. And he goes these grapefruits aren't on the receipt do you think sir that i was at the checkout stand and found a way to go all the way fucking back to your produce section which is a mile and a half down the road to steal 12 fucking grapefruits from your annoying ass and then thought i was gonna make it out in a cart that has six visible items do you know what i'm saying or like seven visible items he goes i'm gonna have to bring the manager over here and i was like no the fuck you're not take the grapefruits i don't want them i literally cannot do another fucking moment of this with you people and then i left and when i left you didn't get he didn't fold and just say you're good i was done i couldn't i was i can't believe he wouldn't be done i was just say go i was on the phone with joe and i was like joe i'm gonna need to call you back and hung up with him and i was like take the fucking grapefruits out of my cart right now <laughs> he was like what do you mean i was like i don't want the grapefruits i don't have the energy to go back to your fucking <gasps> checkout where i've already been accused of stealing two fucking zucchinis because one of you probably put two stray zucchinis in a fucking bag and then you couldn't even ring up all the shit there were seven items this bitch is so concerned about two extra zucchinis she doesn't ring up all the items and then tries to send me on my way with 12 stolen grapefruits when she wasn't even cool with two stolen zucchinis like i'm so mad and it might be the pregnancy hormones but to be fucking honest with you y'all need to chill your bill i spend millions of dollars at costco every week and I, that's my, that's my favorite place to be. I love Costco. I have a bad day. Guess where I'm going? I'm going to fucking Costco. I got to get my blood drawn. Guess where I'm going after? Fucking Costco because it's my favorite place in the world. And the one by your house is done. <laughs> it is awful. They make you take a, they make you take a fucking card to get into the parking lot. Like they're going to charge you to park there, uh -huh. but then they don't. So it just slows everybody down as they're coming in. And then I get to my car and this family has put, just pushed their cart in, behind my car. <laughs> And so the first thing I just like, all right, well, I'm going to get rid of this. So I take their cart and I put it in the little cart holder because I'm being a good Samaritan. And then they go, oh, did you just take our cart? And I was like, did you leave your cart behind my fucking car while I'm trying to leave? I put it back for you. Don't worry. I got you, bitch. And I, she goes, I needed that. Well, then why did you leave it behind somebody else's car that's literally getting in reverse? <laughs> Are you alive? Is somebody fucking behind those eyes? Like, what are you fucking doing? It was the worst experience at Costco I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> ever. Thank God I didn't go because you were trying to coax me into oh, that. Oh, I really was. I wish you had because this was awful. <laughs> this was awful. I got mad at the Apple Store employee. Oh, no. <laughs> Did they accuse you of stealing? No, but I guess with the Apple Vision Pro, I hate the Apple Store. It's always a nightmare. Yeah. It's always packed. It's always too hard to do anything there. <laughs> too hard. And I go in there and they go, can we help you? And I said, yeah, I just want to get an Apple Vision Pro. Get the fuck out of here. And they go, well, what size are you? I said, I don't know. The universal size. And they go, it doesn't work like that. And I said, okay. What size do I look like then? I said, well, this is for two people, me and my husband. So can you just give me a medium and I'll hope for the best? No. And I said, well, can you just guess? No. And I said, okay, well, what well, do I have to do? Well, then how do we know? We have to go take you back there and do a test. I was like, okay, I understand, but I don't want to do the test. So can you just guess? And he, and he was, then he got mad at me and I was just like, brother, I just want to get out of here. Yeah. This sucks. Yeah. And so I get home and there is a universal strap that's already included in the box. And I said, did you really need to put me through all of that? I could have screamed. Yeah. At the top of my lungs. Oh, yeah. Because I oh, just didn't want to. What's going on? <laughs> I get it. Um, Do we care more about the rest of the things? Um, I don't know. Is your coyote story nice? I just thought it was kind of funny. What is it? I was hiking Fryman and like I used to hike Fryman literally every day. And I've never seen a coyote. The past two times I've been, I've seen coyotes on the trail. Something must be going on with coyotes in L.A. Because yeah. Shane's mom came over the other day and was telling me a bunch of dogs have been getting snatched. Snatched. Yeah. And then she was showing me the pictures of the coyotes in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They're bigger than my dogs. Oh, my God. And I have big dogs. Oh, my God. These are mountain lion coyotes. Um, and they're just quadrupling. That's crazy. Are they going to keep getting bigger and take us well, too? Well, one thing that's impressive about the coyote is its ability to adapt and to fucking 
thrive in any environment because honestly the coyotes were here before our cities were and they're still here at nighttime you can hear them fucking howling in downtown la sometimes there's real brawls going out going on in these mountains and so you know good for them keep on keeping on you little tricksters but also you scare me and don't touch my dogs (laughs) but i'm on the trail right and it's like i don't have my dogs so i don't bring the dogs on the trail because of snakes and one of my dogs is a French bulldog, which shouldn't be hiking anyway. And I see you guys. You can't out. do anything with those dogs. Dude, I see you people with Frenchies on hiking trails. and like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you? What do you think these dogs were made for? Because it's cuddling, not hiking. Anyway, Joe's always like, well, you can condition your dog for anything. And I'm like, our dog can barely eat. Like, And he's agile. I think, I think you're keeping him in that state of mind. You're doing Munchausen syndrome. <laughs> Your dog. It's, you won't let the second him. season of the act is me and Icky. <laughs> you won't allow him to explore what he's capable of because you tell him he's not. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> but you need mommy for this. You need mommy. No, you can't do anything. You need mommy for this. He does. He needs his mommy. He can't do anything without his mommy. He can't do anything without his mommy. <laughs> Um, my poor children so we're walking on the trail and I see a coyote and for some reason like I'm at the head of this whole pack of people and I was hiking with that girl Sarah and I tried to put her in front of me she was like fuck you and then I was like in front and I was like I don't know how quiet to approach this and this coyote doesn't seem at all scared of me and then I just sort of stopped walking and then behind me I hear this deep male voice go 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 on (laughs) go and i was just thinking he's empowering me in this moment and i'm afraid of my power <laughs> and i thought he's right i should go 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 and i started ready to go and he goes and then i realized this guy's not this guy's not empowering me he's screaming at the coyote <laughs> and i turned back and i was like thank you for empowering me he's like i'm talking to the coyote you crazy bitch and i was like oh okay like a barry's boot camp instructor yeah. <laughs> for like orange you got theory this. go girl and i was like i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and he was like, head on yeah he's like Brand not day. you he's like i don't think you could have gone so that was fun okay i think we could get into some of these hot topics because uh you had me laughing out loud with a few of these <laughs> why uh well I'll tell you when we get there. But I literally cackled out loud. Okay. Okay. I'm excited to know which one. We'll start at Joe Exotic. Okay. So Kourtney Kardashian posted a picture on Instagram of her like cuddling Rocky. Okay. What's his name? Rocky 13. Anyway, uh, Joe Exotic, (laughs) who's, as we all know, the Tiger King from the Netflix documentary season one and two. Locked up. Locked up for, you know, murderous things. And he commented on Courtney's picture. (laughs) Ah, cute. Please have your sister help me get out of this (laughs) hellhole. Which I thought was so funny. Because of her prison reform. (laughs) Because of her prison reform. Oh my god. That that's Uh, the reality television we all deserve. That would bring me back to their show because I try every season that the Kardashians come back on Hulu. Here I am. I'm here for it. I show up. I can't even ever get through the first episode. So this would be something that we could actually maybe make entertaining. Yeah. So, Kim, if you're trying to revive your fucking deadbeat show and pay for your (laughs) debt, I'm done with them. Wow. I'll be watching, but I'm done with them. (laughs) And I still think that they're really great, strong, powerful women. And I'm really down with strong, powerful women. So you're just mad at the Jets all of a sudden. I just wish that they would use their power for good. And good doesn't mean you help five people on death row a year, Kim. You know you can help a lot more people than that. It doesn't mean you guys do charity service around Christmas with your kids and you put it on your TV show. It means a lot more than that. I know that you're good people in your isolated lives, but you've been given the ability to help a lot of people. And maybe you fucking should. Wow. And stop helping Tristan Thompson. That man is a deadbeat fucking idiot. Okay, wow. I really hate him. And the okay. fact that they ride so hard for him makes me sick. What does this story remind you of? So this story <laughs> reminds me of when I had a severe drinking problem in college. I used to get blackout drunk all the time and like lose my phone and wake up in strange places like a dorm room that's not mine. And I would know... I didn't know how I got there or really where I was. And I would be alone. Like, that's the weirdest part. Like, I would wake up in a dorm room that wasn't mine and no one else was there. And so I would just have to go over to someone's laptop and, like, log into Facebook and then just see whoever was on live at that time. And then just message that person and be like, hey, it's Liz from fifth grade. 
I don't know if you remember me, <laughs> but I seem to be in an odd spot right now. <laughs> I've woken up in a place I'm unfamiliar with and I don't have anything. Why can't you just walk out of the dorm room? I need to know things before that. And it's also like, am I supposed to be here? Like, is someone coming for me? Like, there's reasons, you know? So I literally one time messaged the boy I sat next to in fifth grade because he was the only one who was live on chat on Facebook. And I was like, hey, can you reach out to my friend Haley for me and see where she is? I can't seem to find my phone anywhere. And then he would text Haley and be like, hey, your friend Liz is... <laughs> <laughs> in a strange place and wondering where you are and he would be like she responded i guess she's at we called this boy nick jonas i guess she's in nick jonas's house but that's just across the way from where you are you're in her friend's dorm room it's like your 911 dispatcher <laughs> literally so i get it joe exotic like trying to reach your friends through other friends it's a sad life we live but uh there's hope for us and we do recover <laughs> <laughs> murdering someone's different than waking up blackout drunk in a dorm room you don't know yeah that's i true. actually don't know the claims against him it's crazy how i watched that I whole think first it's series he, and don't remember he tried to kill that bitch and then he also i think tried to kill other people and he also was really not good to the cats that he had like he malnourished and abused those animals right like he's a, kind of a real piece of shit okay we only have four minutes so this is where i want to wrap i don't really care too much about this justin timberlake thing, oh my except, god no i care he why did he have to do this? Justin Timberlake. Well, we did, talked about it last week. I know, but we, now we have to talk about it right, this right, week. Right, 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 right. No, so I'm just saying. Justin, Tim, remember last week when Brittany, Brittany made peace. she made peace. She absolved Justin. So she said, is, peace be with you. You're funny with your buddy, Jimmy. This is when as an uh, as a sane person, you're like, phew. Yeah, shut the fuck forward. up. Just shut the fuck up. Like, that's it. That's all you have to do, Justin. Right. Just go live your life and shut the fuck up. This motherfucker has a show for his birthday. And before he sings Cry Me a River, he says... What are these? I want to. I want to do it right. I'd like to take this opportunity. He says this before he starts singing "Crimea River." I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to absolutely fucking nobody. Crimea River, which is so wild. If you have something to say, just say it because he's been yeah. silent through all of this. When the world is trying to drag him to hell, he's silent. So if he really has his side of, well, you're never gonna. Uh, I would just shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Your album, your song was number one for a while. You're doing good. Yeah. Britney put her armor down. Yeah. Gave you a compliment. Yeah. Just shut up. Shut the fuck Let up. Let it all go well for you. And if it's not about Britney, really poor choice and timing, you fucking idiot. And then she says, do you want to bring it to the court or will you go home crying to your mom like you did last time? I'm not sorry. I love it. Wow. Yeah. I, so... While we're talking about singing song, changing things, whatever. This doesn't actually, this doesn't really You just wish this beef was between Olivia and Taylor. No, no, no. First, I wanted to tie it into, did you see Kelly Clarkson? I think it was in Vegas. She changed this lyrics to the A, B, C, D. Uh, oh, yeah. To be about yeah. her ex-husband. About her ex-husband. Yeah. I was wishing that Olivia, while Taylor was lip singing the wrong words in the audience to her song, she would have That's taken a, a direct hit. Right. Wouldn't that feel... Uh, but that's like Miley thing. did with her ex. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want my first fucking Grammy! Yes. I loved that moment. I loved her hair. I wasn't... Ups oh. I loved You her. would. <laughs> you would, you sick fuck. Um, and can I just drag the Timberlakes okay, a little well, bit harder? Well, hold on, hold on, hold no, on. No, I will not. <laughs> this is why I'm laughing out loud. Jessica Beale eats in the shower, and that makes me hate her and want to vomit. Wow, this whole ass family is hella problematic. That's literally all I put on the docket. <laughs> I do. Some, I hate her. I sometimes take my protein shake in the shower. That's different. It's a drink. Okay. It's covered over the top. Yeah. You're sick. You're fucking <laughs> put, sick. No, and it's a, hot in there. It's going to curl. There, no, I drink Blech. it with it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I would never take a physical I'm just food. picturing this dumb bitch in there eating a soggy sandwich. And honestly, Jessica... <laughs> You are really taking shots today. I know. I don't, I don't fully mean it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't feel well, Jessica. But also, just don't talk about... Why do that? Why, no, it's not, well, let's not normalize multitasking and eating. Let's just fucking eat. And here, Oh, gosh. We're going to roll out so soon. Here's what I was saying. I would love for Olivia Rodrigo to have done that because it would have been satisfying as an audience member. But that's... It, 
a prime example of when you don't do that because I'm sure Olivia thought about it so many times. Yeah. How great this would feel. But you know what? You just, like Michelle Obama says, when they go low, we go high. You just have to try to maintain some sort of, are we rolling out? I'm scared. Oh my gosh. It's just end it. Just end it. We'll us. come back. You want to come back? Yeah. You I'm know? talking about Elmo, whether you like it or not. Okay. One, take three. Um, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't necessary for Justin Timberlake. He, no. It just f for no reason. He doesn't need the press, mm -mm. good or bad. Mm -mm. And honestly, bad press always comes back to bite you in the ass. Yeah. Especially for him. In the end. So he just should have. Just shut the fuck up. And same thing with you, Jessica. Next time you think about mentioning your weird eating habits, keep them to yourself. You <laughs> fuck. Not in the shower. <laughs> okay. Then the last thing that I guess I want to talk about because everything else is not as important to me yeah i don't give a shit about anything else on this list but i guess last week elmo tweeted or x did is it called x yeah what's the what's the verb i xed i xed How, what does x sound like I, I x okay x what did he x, x sounds like x I x ray i x right uh, extreme i don't know wow how are we gonna teach our kids how to read <laughs> I'm going to learn with them. And we're going to get hooked on phonics uh -huh. for ourselves yeah. first. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo x Elmo just <laughs> checking in, he wrote. How is everybody doing? That's my Elmo. Elmo. Elmo just checking in. How okay, is wrap it up. Doing? Was it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just saying that, so I move on. Yeah. You're such a bitch. Okay, and then the people trauma dumped on that three-year-old red puppet like nobody's business. <laughs> Thousands of people responded, but here's my favorite ones. Elmo, each day the abyss we stare into grows a new unique horror, one that was previously unfathomable in nature. Our inevitable doom, which once accelerated in years or months, now accelerates in hours, even minutes. <laughs> However, I did have a good grapefruit earlier. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I didn't because Costco thinks I'm a thief. <laughs> Another person said, Elmo, I've got a level with you, baby. We are fighting for our lives. <laughs> and then Elmo just came back later and went, wow, Elmo was glad he asked. Elmo learned that it is important to ask your friend, ask a friend how they're doing. I, I sort of believe that. Yeah, check Depends in. on how close you are with the friend. This is what I think is funny, though. Like, everyone's always like, make sure your strong friends are okay. But it's like when your strong friends like, no, I'm not. What do you do? Like, what's the follow up? Well, that's what I mean. If Do you're you going to ask, it's, I hope that person has somebody yeah. to talk to, about their issues with. Yeah. But I'm not just going to ask everyone how they're doing because I don't want to take all that in. I, I'll honestly, ask you how you're doing. Yeah. I'll ask Shane how, the very important people in my life. Yeah. But I'm not just going to go ask any friend how they're doing because I honestly can't handle that with two kids. No. And to be honest, like I'm, there's only certain people where I'm comfortable being expressing myself in a very honest way you are one of them and yesterday i did not realize i was on speakerphone with shane in the room and i've been you, no i didn't do that to you oh i did do that bit. to you well but right. i didn't know that he was in the room and i've been spiraling like is he scared about who i am now <laughs> like, i would never that, try to do was that too, like that i don't i know no, but was that we too were texting a, we were texting about something important but i was utilizing both hands feeding a baby. The other baby was a little upset. And then uh, Lizzie was boom, 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 texting yeah, and me. And I that can, was I can be rising very dramatic. my stress le levels. Well, also, I can be very dramatic. It's not about the texting. It's about what I said on the phone. What? Which I, I don't even remember what you I said. I mean, I'm not even going to repeat it on the vlog. I can't even imagine it was something crazy. It was crazy. super gnarly. And now I've been sitting at home being like, is Shane not going to want I, Rylan alone with me now? I feel like I would have noted it if it was weird. I don't think you would have, though, because it's not weird for me. <laughs> but it's weird for someone like Shane who doesn't hear me talk like that all the time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he didn't say anything afterwards. Do you think he's just quietly spiraling and thinking, wow, they shouldn't be alone together? <laughs> I think both of our husbands probably think that. Oh, true. And yet they let us out into the abyss. The way day. I just got angry at Cho. I just reliving the Bristol Farms encounter. <laughs> when you were cold to him. I gotta go. Okay, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's podcast. We were gonna go try food, but Lizzie's pregnant. I can't She's having it, aversions to everything. We're gonna go to Crossroads Kitchen. You can meet us there. Maybe oh my we'll god, see. another Kardashian thing. <laughs> Take more <Well>, money. <laughs> It's Travis. I say my money like I'm buying lunch. <laughs>
<laughs> all right you guys thank you so much for watching and tuning into our show make sure you go to lizzie's channel uh next, next tuesday week, next tuesday um because she'll have all of the things she didn't tell you about getting pregnant finding out she's pregnant all of the stories will live on her vlog channel and also if you haven't already go subscribed yeah uh because she's having a baby and it's gonna be really good content as soon as i stop feeling like death which should hopefully be soon yeah at least four weeks from now <laughs> no less than that yeah less yeah. i think you're on the up and up i'm on the up and up all right you guys uh make sure you're following us all on social media i have a new vlog going out tomorrow <gasps> it, you're in it oh we make yeah we have fun we do have fun uh thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our show we'll see you next week goodbye and, and that's, that's the tip, tip. <sighs> that was a particularly early for on whose end probably mine <laughs> <laughs>